Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this uh, tutorial, as you can see in the intro, we will talk about this interior scene. A big shout out to Angelo Ferretti that made this scene uh, originally for Cinema 4D and Corona Render, but I used it uh, to import into Unreal Engine and uh, change a few things so we can have a really nice scene for uh, this demonstration. Uh, in this video, we will talk about uh, real world value and uh, some pros and cons about using uh, those instead of uh, just using low uh, value for the directional light so uh, most of the time we go around and create uh, this directional light uh, we put intensity somewhere around 100 and uh, uh, in our post process volume we will usually go to uh, this basic exposure and we turn down the intensity of the bloom so we don't get this crazy effect so uh, once we do that uh, we can now uh, just go ahead and uh, rotate our sun uh, so we can see what is going on uh, and in this uh, case we can crank up our indirect uh, lighting intensity so this is most of the time how it's uh, used but the problem uh, with this method I found it's when we go to post-production and uh, or inside of camera but we'll go into post-process volume uh, for now and go to this uh, manual metering mode so we can use a real value of uh, the camera for the interior so we want ISO not to be uh, really high we can crank it up for, for example for 800 and put this shutter speed uh, to something uh, like 100 and uh, these values are really important in uh, photography to get a uh, good motion blower to get uh, good depth of field so you can see in this uh, case that our scene is uh, not looking really bright so we need to crank up uh, this even more but we cannot have this interior lit really well and we get uh, all sorts of uh, errors so uh, one thing that I've noticed is when you add a sun and sky uh, which we will turn on right now uh, you can see uh, when going into the directional light right here that the intensity is set to 65,000 lux and when we google this value uh, we will see that that is a real representation of uh, the sun value and uh, you can see that this indirect uh, intensity is not changing that much so if we go ahead and uh, go back in the exposure put the automatic exposure right back uh, we can see that right now we have a little bit over bright scene uh, but uh, it's much much nicer there is no any flickering we have GI right here but that is of course uh, because in sun and sky we have our skylight that uh, if you turn off uh, we will have something similar that we had uh, with this directional light only so we will turn off uh, this and let's turn on our uh, skylight and directional light and uh, as you can see our directional light we, I have now cranked it up to uh, this a real world value and our skylight uh, have a really low intensity and we need to enable this real-time capture so uh, let's put something really big here and uh, as you can see it doesn't work uh, that good so I always like to use uh, this uh, uh, Sun and sky whenever that is possible so uh, why is it important that I found out uh, to using these values uh, provide a really good result is that in this uh, uh, moment we can now go and uh, set uh, real world values for the camera and we will have a really nice uh, depth of field let's just uh, put some of our cameras uh, right here uh, let's see for example this one is pretty good as you can see uh, we have really nice depth field and if you go and uh, change this uh, focus distance you can see that this uh, looks 
uh, pretty natural and uh, really really nice so uh, that is a uh, one uh, pro uh, to use and the sunlight with this uh, uh, real uh, world volume so that's one huge reason why we should use uh, these real world values uh, the cons is that sometimes uh, we can have uh, some uh, issues but i think that uh, will be uh, sold in uh, future releases of unreal engine 5 as you can see in these dark areas when we get something uh, some angles we have really really strange behavior that we could maybe solve if we don't have this high uh, value inside of our skylight so uh, now the intensity is 500 in our skylight uh, and if uh, we go ahead and uh, uh, just change this light color we can see that this effect color is also changing so that means that our skylight is producing this uh, bug so uh, be careful when using that uh, I think if we put uh, some window here uh, it will perish away but I didn't want to change it uh, just to show you what is the possible cons when you use this method but everything else is uh, pretty pretty nice you can see we have a really nice global illumination and as a usual it is uh, uh, fully dynamic so you can uh, go ahead and uh, play with the lights with everything and uh, have a really really nice results so hopefully this helps you in your own projects if you like this uh, video please consider subscribing and uh, if you have any questions leave the comment down below uh, i will make sure to go through all of them have a nice day and see you in the next one